Yo, what's going on, you guys? KG Presents back here with another video. And today, I'm here with some more must add fantasy baseball players that I think you should add off the waiver wire. Crazy, but we're already six weeks into the MLB season, which is absolutely absurd. I mean, teams have already been playing 30 games up to this point, which is really crazy. But the thing is, though, things are flying by quickly. And I'm here with another week of players that I think you should add onto your fantasy baseball roster. So, without any further ado, let's get into today's video and let's get into these players that I think you should add onto your roster. Now, the first player I think you should add onto your roster is Will Abreu from the Boston Red Sox. He's been doing absolutely incredible as of late. So so obviously he's a great addition onto your squad. He's caught fire as of late, hitting 15 for 43 over the last two weeks with two home runs, 10 runs scored, nine runs batted in, and three steals. He has flash power and speed in the minors before, so this may not be a fluke after all after he's been playing really well in the big leagues as of late. He's been hitting in the middle of the Red Sox lineup with Trish and Casas gone, and that could be a profitable place to be with Rafael Devers looking good of late, and Tyler O'Neill back from his concussion. Also, shout out Tyler O'Neill, though. Tyler O'Neill's been doing absolutely absurd in real life, so shout out him for that. That's another reason why I think William Abreu is going to be so good uh, in that middle of the Boston Red Sox lineup. So currently, as of the moment I'm speaking, on the season, he's hitting 309 with two home runs, 11 runs bat in, four stolen bases and 13 runs bat in. Hopefully he continue to have that production in the near future. Literally on ESPN, his roster percentage was 16.8% right now. It's going up 16 last week because, you know, he's been doing absolutely well. I think he's a great addition onto your roster. So if you're looking for some outfield help, be sure to add William Abreu onto your fantasy baseball roster here. Hopefully he's a good addition onto your squad. Next up, we have Mark Canna from Detroit Tigers. Now, I know he's a bit more of a boring player and everything, but I think he's going to be a great addition onto your roster. So, sorry for not the lack of Detroit Tigers footage of Mark Canna. Fortunately, I wasn't able to get my hands on some of that. So, either way, hopefully his addition is going to help onto your roster. It doesn't really matter if he's an older player and everything. What we want is production, and the more consistent the production is better. Canna has been a solid pro for a while in his major league careers, had a very solid major league career for that, is playing every day in Detroit lineup. He doesn't have any elite traits, but he makes a good amount of contact, has 20 plus home run power, will chip in a few steals, and should be good enough to put up many counting stats in improving Tigers lineup. He's more of a streaming hitter in 12 team leagues, but he can be a full team guy in 15 team leagues as well. I mean, it's boring, but he's very effective, and you literally cannot count Mark Canna at all. I think he has so much consistency in his career, and you know, that's, I think, a huge factor in fantasy baseball in real life of course now as of today he's sitting 273 on the year with five home runs 15 runs bad in and scored 13 runs as well uh he's a couple days ago i mean he's been doing really really well and everything he had a big home run off of zach little in the first inning a 392 foot solo shot to help the tigers in that performance but i mean he's been very comfortable with the squad i mean this is his first year in a tigers uniform last year he played the beginning with the mets and then he ended up on the brewers at the end of the season but he's been very very good with the Detroit Tigers, the position is a lock. He's playing every single day. I mean, there really shouldn't be any issues. He's, again, uh, listed as an outfielder for your team. So if you're looking for some outfield help, either like as a bench roll, some streaming option, or just someone that you do want to add every single day because obviously he's hitting. You know, if he's able to hit 273, bro, and hit 25-plus home runs this year, that'd be a great addition onto your squad. So either way, hopefully Mark Cannon is a great addition onto your roster. If you do add him, he's been playing pretty well. Tigers are doing pretty good. He's playing every single day. There's nothing to worry about. He's going to be a good, solid addition onto your roster. Next up, we have Luis Verhenifo from the Los Angeles Angels. I think he's going to be a great addition onto your roster for many reasons. So Luis Verhenifo, originally thought that he was going to be playing more of a bench role for the Angels this year, but he was fighting his way into playing time and he hurt his hamstring. Now we start him regularly and perhaps more important for fantasy leagues. He is running frequently so far this year. Ron Washington has said he won his team to steal more this year, and so far he's made good on that promise. When he fell has seven steals over his last two weeks, which obviously is very, very impressive to say the least. And given his multi-position eligibility, he is a great bench bat in most league types to move all around your lineup, even if the batting average hasn't fallen yet. In different formats, it also might be time to give Willie Castro a mention. However, though, this is more about Luis Renjifo for the Los Angeles Angels right here. Like I just mentioned, the steals are definitely there, which is obviously pretty impressive to say the least. I mean, he's very fast. So if you want to get some 
extra stolen bases onto your roster. So on ESPN, he's listed as a second baseman, a third baseman, a shortstop, and an outfielder, which honestly is very impressive. But the batting average is there, though, to say the least so far this season as the moment I'm recording this. He's hitting 288 on the year. He's got six runs batted in, seven stolen bases, and 288 batting average is obviously very good to say the least. So if you're looking for some outfield help, but more if you're looking for someone that you can pretty much plug in anywhere, and he's obviously hitting right now. Not a big home run hitter. We did actually hit a home run tonight, though, so that's going to update tomorrow. But either way, if you're looking for some multi-positional eligibility, add Luis onto your roster. Next up, we have an outfielder from the Colorado Rockies, that being Brenton Doyle. So far this season, at the moment I'm recording this, he's hitting 326 on the year. He's had three home runs so far, eight runs bad in, four stolen bases, and he's actually scored 18 runs as well, which is obviously very impressive to say the least. Uh, just the other day, he went three for four with three runs, a walk, and obviously slashing very, very well that this season. Uh, he definitely has had some struggles, though, since if you think you'd be interested in adding him onto your team. So shout out Brenton Doyle. And last but not least, we have Ryan Mountcastle from the Baltimore Orioles. And the Orioles are just absolutely stacked, to say the least. There's no other way to put it. Mountcastle is hitting over 300 on the year. He's got four home runs. He's got 14 runs bad in. And he has scored 16 runs so far for the Baltimore Orioles. He's been absolutely exceptional so far this year. And hopefully he continue to have some success. Uh, the long ball was Mountcastle's first hit in three games since he recovered from a minor knee issue. I mean, so he had a bit of a knee issue before him. But the thing is, though, don't worry about that. He's ready. He's healthy. He's ready to go, as you can see, as of late, because he's been playing really, really well, hitting over 300 for the Orioles. I know the Orioles lost tonight 7-6 to the Oakland A's, but Mountcastle is going to be playing every single day going forward for the Baltimore Orioles to be expected. He's really good. Uh, don't even sweat about it. Uh, he's only 33% rostered on ESPN, so if you're able to get, snag him to your lead, I would be suggesting you to do so. So that's going to be conclusion of today's video. These are the five players that I have listed to hopefully help your fantasy baseball roster, not only this week, but for the rest of the season. Hopefully these players are going to help you out. Uh, if you all enjoyed the video, please sure like, subscribe for your content. And uh, if you want me to do more of this, I will. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time.